sometimes in life you're going to have thoughts that come into your mind that are not of the Holy Spirit that is not conducive to God's word or conducive to the, to the life that you need to live. You have these thoughts that infiltrate inside of your mind that can cause you to behave in a way that is not normal, right? To entertain sin, entertain lust, entertain whatever it is that is unholy. And when we have these thoughts that infiltrate our mind, and you're going to, and you're going like, man, this is not normal. This is not a normal thought pattern. This is not what I'm supposed to be thinking about. You got to understand that's of the devil. The devil's trying to infiltrate our minds every day. This is why it's important to become productive, to be occupied so that we don't allow our minds to be infiltrated by demonic thoughts and you see when the devil tries to enter into your mind you need to rebuke those thoughts that he is putting in your mind immediately because you don't want those thoughts to fester you don't want them to marinate you don't want them to grow. You don't want that seed to be planted in your mind. You want to destroy that seed. You want to nip it in the butt as soon as possible so that it does not grow into something that is going to be hard to rebuke later in life. You know what I'm saying? So you got to rebuke the devil. You don't rebuke the devil by your own power. You don't have the, the spiritual power unless the Most High gives you it to rebuke the devil and, and those demonic thoughts, right? It's important to point out that we resist the devil by the power of God, not our own, not by our own power, right? And it talks about this in various chapters and verses. Let's go to Zechariah chapter four, verse six. And it says, then he answered and spake unto me, saying this is the word of the lord unto zavru babel whatever i cannot pronounce that <laughs> to save my life i'm not even going to try saying not by might nor by power but by my spirit saith the lord of hosts also says in john chapter 15 verse 5 i am the vine Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. And the fact that we resist the devil by the power of God is also shown and said and said to us in corinthians 2 chapter 12 verse 9 and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in weakness most gladly therefore will i rather glory in my infirmities that the power of christ may rest upon me so god has given his spirit the spirit of Christ to all who are trusting right in his out in Christ for salvation. 
the same spirit that enabled Christ to successfully ward off the devil's 40 day campaign in the desert has been given to believers, has been given to us. The first step to resisting the devil is submitting to God, is to submitting to Yah. That's the first step to resisting Satan because you cannot resist Satan off the strength of your own will. You can't do it by yourself. There's no way. So whatever we're faced with these demonic thoughts that seep into our mind, we got to look, we got to evaluate those thoughts and be mindful that they are there, right? Because they can seep into our subconscious mind. And if we don't catch those thoughts, they're going to pass in to our subconscious. And like I said earlier, that seed is going to be watered. Okay, that seed is being planted and it's going to grow into something that's going to be hard to rebuke later. It's going to be hard to, you know, destroy, destroy that, that bad fruit. So you don't want it in your subconscious. You want to catch it. You want to also expose it. Because you know, these are not the thought patterns that are conducive to your walk with the Most High. And ask God for the power to rebuke any of those thoughts that are not conducive to your walk. We have the power to rebuke any of those demonic thoughts by the power of the Lord. You know, you got to understand that he has not left us defenseless in our battle. You know, we have the, we have the tools. We have the fight in us to go up against, you know, Satan and his demonic army. And this is not a physical battle. This is a spiritual battle. You know, we can't go into the spiritual battle without any armor. We got to have the armor. We got to have the breastplate. We got to be wielding that sword. You know? We got to use God's word to fight against those demonic thoughts and temptation and sin. So with that being said, when any, when any demonic thought comes into your mind, you have to resist it. You got to go to Yah to gain the power to rebuke it. And trust in the Lord that he is there with you through this fight, through this battle spiritually. So that being said, this is Solo Dolo Talks. Make sure y'all like the video for the algorithm. More content is to come, and I'm out. God bless and peace.